What's up, Anumanjians? And welcome back. So we're looking at a new Super Bowl spot for us. This is the next horror film from Jordan Peele, who got a lot of recognition in 2017 for his movie Get Out, uh, for its social commentary and genuine scares. And it looks like he's back at it again. And why even talk about it anymore? Let's just go ahead and take a look. Sometimes things line up. Coincidences? Since we've been up here, they've been happening more and more. It's like there's this black cloud hanging over us. There's a family in our driveway. Who is that? Man, that looks really intense. Um, <clears throat> so, of course, this being a Jordan Peele movie, and it seems like he's the kind of person who will create a horror film that actually has something important to say. Uh, my theory about what this film is actually about could be that <clears throat> they are this other family that's actually them is maybe their own... Uh, uh, mental representation of uh, um, their own guilt for being successful uh, uh, blacks, you know, who who got out of uh, bad neighborhoods and they were able to do well for themselves. A lot of successful black people do tend to have, uh, and, and not all of them, but a few of them do tend to feel some guilt towards, you know, them themselves for for actually taking that step to you know move away from uh, um, uh, a bad situation and and do better and a lot of times it may hold them back from from excelling more because they feel like they probably don't deserve it or shouldn't deserve it uh, because of uh, everyone else around them um, I could be completely wrong if that's wrong hey by all means what do you guys think this movie is is about and what do you think of the trailer I think it looks pretty cool super creepy which is expected. Uh, some of the imagery is just, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit much, and this is just a Super Bowl spot. So you can only imagine what the actual movie's gonna be like. So that, that, that's gonna be interesting to, to see when it comes out. Uh, I was not expecting an R rating for it. Um, I thought that maybe he would go PG-13 just so that more people would be able to access it. But, you know, I guess he wants to tell his story his way. So by all means, uh, it's good to see Lupita in a in a, uh, a mainstream film, uh, other than Black Panther, of course. Uh, so I'm really excited to see her performance here, and I'm I'm just excited for this film overall. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Until next time, stay dope.